Good evening, this is the Oscar expert here. We've departed from the Cannes Film Festival. We are back. We have more movies to review, but big news just came in from the festival. The Cannes jury, headed by Spike Lee, has announced their awards of who won their honorary prizes. I've seen most of these movies, but unfortunately there are three movies that won awards I didn't see, which was more than I anticipated. The first award they announced was that Caleb Landry Jones won Best Actor for Nitram, the Australian film directed by Justin Kurzel about a 1996 shooting that actually occurred. And Caleb Landry Jones actually plays the shooter himself. The movie is kind of an examination of how this person got to a point where they decided to do that. I didn't get to watch the movie because I left the day that it premiered but it got sort of mixed positive reviews. It does seem like Cannes has a history of awarding films with controversial subject matter. I mean, Elephant won the Palme d'Or. But even people who are mixed on the film all agree that he gave a really good performance in the movie. A lot of people were thinking the award would go to Simon Rex for Red Rocket. A lot of people thought the award would go to Adam Driver for Annette. So this was a little bit of a surprise, I guess. Then we have the Actress Award, which went to Renate Reinsva for The Worst Person in the World. I was joyed when they announced that this happened because I'm such a fan of that movie and I'm such a fan of her performance. I'm really glad that the movie won something. I thought maybe it would get screenplay, but for it to get actress is as good, if not even cooler. And Neon picked up the movie, so I'm really excited to see if the worst person in the world can contend perhaps at the Oscars outside of international feature, maybe screenplay. Maybe this even launches like a best actress campaign a little bit for her. I don't know. It, it feels a little bit like a long shot to say that movie would get awards like that, but I don't think it's impossible. So I'm really curious to see how far it can go. There were a lot of actresses who I think could have won this award from Valeria Bruni Tedeschi to Achuak Abakar in Lingi to even Agatha Rossell for Titan, but I'm really glad that it went this way. Then the screenplay prize went to Drive My Car. This is a really good pick. Typically Cannes doesn't give more than one award to a movie. So when I heard that Worst Person won Actress, I thought, ooh, maybe Drive My Car will get screenplay because that would personally be like my second choice. I thought that was like the strongest point of the movie. And I was really happy to see that movie win the award. The movie was also thought to be a contender to maybe win the Palm or the Grand Prix prize or something. But I think this is a great prize for it. I mean, the screenplay is just so thought provoking and has so many interesting ideas within it. The director prize went to Leos Carax for Annette. Can does seem to like to shake shit up a little bit and with the movie having such divisive reactions, it's a little bit surprising that it went to Annette in a way because it could have gone to a movie that was perceived as more of like a palm contender. A lot of people thought Julia de Cornau would win, but I mean, that movie had bigger and better things to win, didn't it? And although I think Annette is probably not a perfect movie by any means, I don't really disagree. I mean, just in terms of like ambition and technical prowess, Leos Carax's movie was as impressive as anything. And his credibility as a director in France probably also helped him with this award. I can't say I'm disappointed with it. You can't help but to admire the beast that is Annette. Then we have the jury prize, which is kind of like the third place award. And this was a tie between Memoria and Ahed's Knee. Memoria is another really good Apich Tapong movie. I think his fans are gonna love it. I think some people are gonna think it's one of his best. And with all the acclaim that it's getting and the respect that that director has, especially with the Cannes Film Festival, it's perhaps not surprising that he would get a pretty big prize. Ahed's Knee is one that I did not see. It is a pretty acclaimed movie. And from what I know, it's a little bit of a meta sort of thing where it's about a filmmaker. It seems to have a very experimental style. And then for the Grand Prix Awards, we had another tie. So literally five movies movies, one first to third place. The jury was just giving out these awards like candy. So this award was a tie between compartment number six. This one has pretty strong reactions. I haven't heard a lot of people who are like blown away by it, but it seems like there was a consensus on that it was a very good movie, very likable, perhaps a little bit of a crowd pleaser. And this one might be something that can get submitted as a foreign film for the Oscars. For Finland. I had a ticket for this movie and then I bailed on it and then I couldn't reserve another ticket for it because I bailed on it and so I had to go to the ticket office. Thought I'd get a ticket for this time. Couldn't make that time because it took too long and then I got a ticket to the next time. I had to take a bus to this screening and then I couldn't see it because that was the one theater apparently where they don't have English subtitles which and I just had to leave. I, I tried to see the movie, I really did. The film tied with Oscar Ferrati's A Hero, which was thought to be maybe the front runner for the Palme d'Or this year, in part because it was a very well-liked movie, maybe not his most well-liked, but in a year where nothing seemed to be like unanimously loved across the board with anybody, A Hero seemed like it had a decent shot, and Oscar Ferrati is such a respected filmmaker, it would have made sense to see him take the Palme d'Or. But it did win the second place prize, so I mean, it's pretty close. It does show that the movie does have a lot of love for it, and I can't complain 
plane. I think this was one of the like 10 best movies I saw there. And then the bomb goes to Titan. I was so pumped about this win because Titan was easily one of my favorite movies at the whole festival. It was just such an exciting, bonkers movie to me. And I didn't know if it could pull this off because of how weird of a movie it was. And it was a little bit of a historic moment too because Julia de Cornau became the second woman ever to win the Palme d'Or, only after Jane Campion won for the piano in 1993. And even when that happened in 93, that was a tie. So this is the first time a woman has won the award solo. And I even like to kind of say that I had a couple of premonitions that came my way about this. I was riding a bus in Cannes and I saw this sign and I didn't really think much of it. I thought it was kind of funny. I had to take a picture of it. But then when I was on my way to the airport on a bus, I saw this goddamn truck and I couldn't think of a reason why the fuck that truck says that on it. And then I was like, oh, my, oh shit, this is a sign. The Coronat could be going for something big, and then lo and behold, she wins the goddamn Palme d'Or. And it's also kind of hilarious because this was announced first by accident by Spike Lee. During the ceremony, they asked him to give out the first prize, and he probably thought it was, like, the first prize. Can you tell me which prize is the first prize? Yes, I can. The film that won the Palme d'Or's to Titan. Wait, 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 no! <laughs> but it was a pretty legendary flub. Now, considering that Parasite had so much success after winning the Palme d'Or, there are probably going to be people who are like, oh, Titan won the Palme d'Or. Does that mean that's going to get, like, Oscar nominations and stuff? But I think anyone could enjoy Titan if you're somewhat of an adventurous moviegoer. But it's still just not something I would expect the Academy to go for. I would love for France to submit it for international feature, but they are sometimes really weird about what they choose to submit and what they don't. Like them submitting Les Miserables instead of Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Just something about it feels like it's the kind of movie that they're just not going to submit. It would make me upset if they didn't. I would love if they did. I feel like they would get in if they submitted the movie. But regardless of if it gets awards or not, I mean, I'm very pumped about the win. And I'm really happy that Julia DeCornau got this kind of recognition. I mean, the movie's just so ambitious and stylish. So I'm overall like really happy about these results. I love the actress win, the palm win, the screenplay win. Those are like my favorites. And I can't wait for more people to see these movies later in the year. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Why didn't you get a prize? Thank <laughs> you.